welcome. My name is Dice Kimura, and today's lesson is going to be Santeria by uh, Sublime. Okay, big hit in the uh, late '90s, and um, this guy's this. I mean, he 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 created a whole new style. This is like a ska punk uh, style. That this guitar. festive um, and very California sounding very unique let's get into it so we're talking about the chords and the chords are E G sharp C sharp minor B and then the chorus is a B E and C sharp minor I'll go over those in a second but go ahead and download this chart I made a chart for you on this side is has the arrangement and this side is the structure you can get it at the link in the description and this is really going to help you understand the song okay so we're in the key of E major or C sharp minor depending on how you perceive it um, we're at 90 BPMs and um, so we have two so we have two sections it's actually a pretty easy song it's either going to be verse or chorus okay including the guitar solo the guitar solo is just a verse so the whole song is just verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus and that's how it works so the verse is going to be uh, one bar of E <laughs> Now I do E here, and I'll also do E here. I'm going to show you a very basic strumming with this, and then I'm going to show you some more advanced stuff that I like to do, okay? So you can do either E here, or E here. So you got one bar. If you want, your most basic strum would be four times each. And then you got G sharp major. Okay, that is a bar chord on the fourth fret, and if you need to know how to play bar chords, I have a video down below uh, in the description that shows you how to play bar chords, or you can just Google it. Google C sharp. I'm sorry, Google G sharp uh, bar chord on guitar. Next, we have just everything go down a string to C sharp minor, fourth fret again, and then the B. This is B major, okay, not B minor, so be careful. Okay, so you're gonna have the verse. I don't promise. I had a million dollars and I, I spent it all. But you, you could just strum it if you want. The most basic strum would be four times each. If you want, if you just learn the song, try it at the four times each. Even if you're able to do more advanced strumming, that's what I would suggest. And then after you can do the whole thing, try to incorporate your strumming after, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of trying to do sophisticated strumming before they understand the song. And that can stop them from understanding the structure or the math of the song because they get so devoted to their strumming pattern. So try not to be that guy. You want to have your E, G sharp, C sharp minor, B, repeat, G sharp, C sharp minor. The chorus is different rhythm than the verse, right? The verse is everything is four beats each. The chorus, everything is two beats each. And it is kind of funny. Let me actually show you right here in a quick time video. So you can see here, this is our verse. Notice everything is four times each. Well, this means one bar, right? But over here, this is one bar, and this has two chords in each bar. And that means that it's two beats each. It's also kind of weird because it in the cycle you would think that there would be four times to complete the cycle instead they do three and a half and they don't come back to this e instead they come back to this e okay so if you look over here your structure is verse and then chorus and verse and chorus etc so when you're coming into verse you're doing this and then he goes into chorus and then he's going to go back into verse which is going to be right back into this e so it can be a little confusing unless you really know the structure. I suggest you print out the, the chord chart and also strum it slowly and, and um, just do one strum per bar in order to, um, to get clarity on, on how to do it, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna start playing with the song and I'm just gonna play the song um, in the most simple structure and call it the chords and then I'm gonna show you um, something a little more sophisticated, okay? So check it out. And B. I don't this sharp. sharp. B. 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 
It was two things. It was the guitar solo and the ending. Okay, the guitar solo I just played an E major or in C sharp minor, and he's just playing over the verse. Um, I have learned his solo. I just kind of improvised one just now, um, but um, in this lesson, I'm not necessarily teaching the guitar solo. Hey there, sorry to interrupt. If you want to learn how to play lead guitar, I have something for you at the end of this video. The other thing I need to go over is the ending. He does E, that's also on the chart. It's also on the chart on the, it, I saw the ending. It's E, E flat minor, C sharp minor, B, A, B, and E7. So it's E, E flat minor, C sharp minor, B, A, B, seven. E7. You can do it here. You can do it here. I think when I recorded just now, I did an E, uh, E7 sharp 9, which is kind of appropriate. So the other thing I want to talk about is the strumming pattern. I mean, this is a really cool... I mean, you know, and I'm interpreting some of this loosely, but... I'm adding my own stuff here. When I did that beat, that's some Hendrix. So if you want me to show you that, just leave me a comment. And Hendrix is my favorite thing to teach. But that puts me on a tangent. Those were just E, B, C sharp minor, and A embellishments in a Hendrix style. So if you guys want that, leave me a comment. I'll do a lesson on Hendrix. I love Hendrix, okay? But anyway, so the strumming pattern, so it's... The most important thing about this strumming pattern is the, the two and the four. It's the one, two, four, two, four, you would clap. So if you watch me, kind of, let me check out the strap. If you watch me engage, You don't have to do it this way, you know. But I'm doing a very festive ska beat. Um, this this playing style, I got it. Um, I used to play. I live in Miami, and I used to play in a in a reggae band, a Jamaican reggae band. If you can picture me, um, looking kind of like this, uh, except I had long hair at the time, in a ponytail, I and mean, then everyone else was like dreadlock Jamaican, talking like with a thick accent, and uh, I'm like half Japanese. But anyway, <laughs> but they, they had a lot of mercy on me. They, they let me uh, join their band and I learned how to play their style, like that reggae. It has 
has like that uppity kind of almost like a triplet shuffle. <laughs> all the playfulness that I have on the strings and I'm palm muting everything by the way except when I stab I'm palm muting so I'm all out of time but leave me a comment below hopefully it's making sense to you and I will see you in the next video hey guitar player if you want to learn how to play lead guitar and you're a beginner I have something for you this is a very detailed beginner course for lead guitar playing step by step it's going to show you how to improvise it's going to show you all of your pentatonic scales in the key of E minor, which is eight positions over the span of 22 frets. You're also going to get 40 of my phrases that I'm going to teach you, and these are cool phrases. I'm also going to include the tabs of all of the phrases that I'm playing and all the positions that I'm playing. And you're going to have video of very in-depth, step-by-step explanations of how to start improvising. And more importantly, it's gonna teach you how to think like a guitarist. I'm gonna teach you how guitarists interact with live music and how we think. And so it's gonna be very beneficial. If you get through this course, this will take you from beginner, absolute beginner, all the way to intermediate. You'll be an intermediate lead player by the end of this course. So it's very in-depth. I know that's a bold promise, but it's true, okay? You can check it out for free, um, do the free trial, and then go from there. Please ask me any questions that you have. I wanna see you play lead guitar. You can do this. You can absolutely do this, step by step, one day at a time. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna do this at your pace. So check it out, the information's in the link below.